All right. This I apparently have to make a video of. I'm going to be polite to you guys right now because this video is going to be far from polite starting from this point on in the intro. Okay? If you do not like this video or you feel offended from this video, I'm sorry. And what I'm especially sorry for is not you being offended by this speech, but I'm sorry for you as an individual. You are a sub-degenerative piece of trash, okay? Because you didn't take the time to simply read the info and joining the server. Now, here's what I, this whole video is about. This box right here. This box. What does it say? Welcome to TS200 Trainville. This is the MOTD. Fun fact, it is the rules of the server, and it not only shows the rules of the server, but it shows you everything you need to know to not get in trouble, as well as everything you need to know so we don't have to answer your dumbass questions when you join our server. Now, they may not be dumb in all respects because you genuinely need to know this information to improve the gameplay, but if you simply view it for the... It doesn't even take long. It could be legitimately five fucking seconds. All it takes is to pull this up and to see the questions and the answers directly corresponding to them. And then we don't have to answer them for you. And you don't have to beg for answers for you. Simple enough. So, what is this video directly aimed at? The people that say, I want the add-on collection to the server. Oh, <gasps> We know that you didn't read it. And you know what's hilarious about that? You said, the people who join in this server, they said, I read the whole thing, and I can't find the add-on page. I can't find where the add-ons are. Because you didn't read it. You did not read it. Here is why we know that. Starting info, right here. It is the second fucking thing down. All content for the TS200 add-ons and Discord link. LRI unit packs, TV piggy skin, shapes and Ruba E2 pack, staff forms, bandit peels, and many more can be found by clicking the top left half menu and then clicking the help page. This is all you have to do, and it's right fucking there. Right there. And then all you have to do is press these two magical keys called Control and C. Then go to your web browser, like so. Let me pull this over here because I might have some personal information up. And, you know, personal information, you know, private internet security is king, guys. All right, here it is. Go over to here. Oh, ah, my control key is a little bugged. And you click this. Oh, my God, it's right fucking there. How hard was that? How hard was that? Subscribe to all. That's everything you have to do. So why people still fail to get this simple task correct is beyond my knowledge, besides the fact that they're too ignorant and ignore it to just simply read that. Fun fact for most of you, not only can you view the rules, you can not only just view the help page, you can go to ban appeals right here. Not only that, but you can also put in a staff form, which they're closed for right now at least. And you can even view the status of the host machine that hosts not only Trainman train build, but TS200 train build right here. Right here. This shows everything that the machine is doing, what the CPU usage is, if there's a downtime, expected offline time, calculated RAM usage, everything. The network usage, for Christ's sake. You can view all of this data from this magical website. Oh my god. Not only this, but if you simply just go to the MOTD, I gotta read some other things to you. People are so... Oh, you guys make my head burn. I just want to put a bullet right through my skull for the people who do this. Right away, the first thing that is said is, Welcome to train or TS200 Train Builds. By clicking out of this message of the day box, you are agreeing that you have read our server guidelines and slash are willing to comply with their server policy, and that you may be subjected to punishment with or without warning if the policy is violated. Dude, we don't even gotta tell you if you're doing something wrong. We're just that kind. I'm not even joking with you. It is right there. We don't have to tell you. We could just boot you permanently off the server from the minge policy simply because 
you didn't read this, but because we're kind enough to take our times as a server administrators and server owners and managers, we take our time out of our personal day when we sh could be doing something more productive with our lives, for Christ's sake, to come on the server to help an asswipe who is consistently pestering people for the add-on pack. Then when we ask them to read the MOTD simply to find the info, which is right here in the starting info of where to go. And by the way, the third thing on the list is not reading the MOTD. This page is a kickable offense. Anything past the first kick will result in being a bannable offense. Trust me, we know if you read it or not, and we're really sick of it. That's what this video is about. We fucking know. Don't play dumb or put a cap in your ass. Simple enough. I'm not even going to bother to read this to you, but the general rules of Gary's Mod rules are all pretty much common sense. There isn't really a necessary to explain this, okay? This is just simply saying what you should and shouldn't do. It's not even a joke. Right here is chat and Discord rules. This is all self-explanatory, and if you don't want to read this, fine. That's your own punishment at your own risk. We don't care anymore. You guys keep this up, or people who join the server keep this up, we're banning you permanently. We don't care anymore. We're issuing perma bans just like fucking... Oh my god, we're throwing them out like hotcakes. You should see us now. We don't tolerate this shit. We're not a place for minges. I don't know what everyone else seems to think of us, but this is not what we tolerate. You will... I'm gonna tell you guys right now. We have a lot of people who seem to hate the crap out of us simply because they've been perma-banned from a server that is known as a minge train build server. But that is quite the opposite case. We are not a server full of minges. We are a server where people can prove themselves as a justified that they can be a decent player. Yes. Exactly how it is. So if you're coming on here and you disobey any of this, I don't care. None of us care. We will ban you permanently at this point. This has become such an issue that people who do not read that one part of the policy do not deserve to play in this server because those are the same category of people who do nothing but cause trouble. Repeat of trouble. Because they're too ignorant and too stupid to take the time and to think about what the consequences could be if they just read the fucking MOTD. Running rules is a very important one. If you're going to say fuck everything and not read anything, this is the one you actually should read. Because right here, look at this. See this? Use Fender Bender Defender. We gave you a link to how to install it. Oh my god, and you can watch it right here if you have the Chrome browser installed. I don't. You can watch our tutorial videos right here. That's your proof. Another thing I can't stand is when people come on the server, right? And they pretend they know everything and that they've been off train build for only, a, like, they, they, they know everything. They built so many good trains and they left train build for a little bit of time. Bullshit! We've heard that so many times. You're the kind of person that doesn't know shit and you're too ignorant and embarrassed to admit it. It's okay to admit that you don't know how to parent correctly. It's okay to admit that you don't know how to do something. What? It's okay to learn and want to learn how to do it the right way the first time. But being ignorant, ignoring people because you have a 700 fucking constraint steamer and that is against every single rule in this server and that you get told... That you get told to parent it, but then you tell us something along the lines of, Oh, it's easy weld, okay? Or, no, I'll do it later. Bruh, no, there isn't no later. You know what is going to be later? The amount of time you're going to be spending banned from this server. You either learn how to do it right, learn how to take the time out of your own... You we're taking our time to help you. The least you can do is fucking listen. Because... You get banned on here doing this shit, you're not going to last long. As a matter of fact, you're not going to last at all on other train build servers if you learn the hard way. Because just because it's easy weld or I know how to parent, I just don't want to, is a completely unacceptable excuse. And it's completely bullshit. 
do it right the first time or you get booted. Because I'm not joking. We've had people come on the server with 2,000 constraint, just diesel locomotives. A fucking GE-9. We had some kid that came on here with a GE-9. I'm not going to... I'm not going to show it. I'm just mentioning it. I'm not going to mention the guy either, but if you know him, please keep him confidential. I mean, the one rule of comedy is don't punch down below you because this guy is as low as it gets, to be honest with you, the way he treated this staff. And we were so tolerant until he told us to go fuck ourselves, okay? This guy joined this server, had a GE-7 or Dash 8 or something, that was the self, the diesel itself was 2,000 fucking constraints! Constraints! Two thousand gods! Holy shit! When we asked them politely to just fucking stop the thing, don't move it, it was powered by thrusters. When we asked them, I asked them, right? It was only like three people on the server. It was me. Another member told me, hey, hey, you, could, are you AFK? Can you please come back and deal with something for me? Yeah, come back and this fucking dude is running a two thousand con locomotive powered by thrusters. The waiting was so fucking bad. I swear to God, that thing had Paris Hilton running for its money. Oh my God. And when we asked him so nicely... Listen, dude, can you please stop it? I think it looks amazing. It, it did look pretty nice, except for the fact that whenever you touched it, the fucking thing spazzed out and became a helicopter, okay? I asked him so nicely, dude, I think it looks nice and all, and I'm very honored that you prop built this thing. I mean, not a lot of people prop build this kind of stuff, but do us a distinct favor, and could you maybe stop moving it and parent it? And when we asked him that, he didn't even know it was the owner. He told me to go fuck myself. That was the first thing he did, was tell not a, just a staff member to go fuck himself. Let alone the owner. Then then I said, excuse me? I don't have to tell you nicely? You know? That is so fucking rude, and I hope to God you don't treat anyone else like this. Then he holds, you know, they hold this magical button called tab, right? And they see, right away, they hold tab. Oh, shit. This dude's the fucking owner. Oh, no. Oh, boy. And then they show all sorts of kind of respect. I don't care if I was the fucking president of goddamn Norway. You don't talk to people like that. You don't talk to them like that, whether they're staff, if they're not staff. You talk to everyone in a decent manner, okay? You don't just tell people to go fuck himself and expect them to act rationally. That is so terrible. And it has happened on so many occasions. We don't have to take your shit. You can take it right outside, and we'll worry. And I swear to God, if we get people like that on this server, not only do we perma-ban them, but we instantly report them. Because those people do not have any class whatsoever, and they are subhuman fucking degenerative shit. You're going around and you're telling staff members, let alone anyone of the server, to go fuck themselves? After they tell you politely that they like your locomotive, and that it is good and all, but it should be parented better? I mean, you should have... I tried telling them the nicest I could. I'm not a very nice person. I don't have to tell no one shit. I could have just banned his ass right there and then because he didn't have anything within the con limits. I didn't have to ask him. I didn't have to say nothing. I could have simply just put in explanation point, ban Steam ID, or ban ID, the person's ID, over con locomotive. I don't have to ask them. That's how this works. We don't have to warn anyone. So when you come on here and you do that and we ask you to stop and you tell anyone in the server to go fuck themselves, not only are you going to get a permaban, but we're going to port you to various servers like Blue Tick Train Build, North American Train Build, Trainman Train Build. By the way, Trainman Train Build and I sync bands. Or TS200 and Trainman Train Build do synchronize bands for people like that instantly. And I know tra uh, North American Train Build will synchronize bands of that nature as well. I don't know if they would, depending on the situation, but they kind of ban what they feel is justified. But they synchronize bans. I also warn people like Black, or the owners of Black Pearl, and if necessary, other servers, even FCNN, if they're willing to listen. And South Bend Train Build, and Rosebud, we report you to all of them. I mean, for Christ's sake, Trainman Train Build and TS200 get a lot of shit for being Minge Train Build servers, but they're not. Okay, you're going around and you're doing this shit. We don't even have to tell you anything. And when we ban you permanently, that's a huge statement on your record because you're being banned from a server that's supposedly full of minges. 
So think about it. Oh my god, what the fuck did I just witness? <laughs> I like I'm making a serious rant in the next... Whoa, what's going on my screen? Anyhow, there it is. I'm sorry that took so long. I'm sorry that was dumb. But it had to be explained. I'm sorry it took a lot of time out of your budget. But that was a rant that had to be done. Okay? That's it. That's the only warning I'm going to post on YouTube. And if any members of the server want to comment on it, please do. If you want to see more rant videos like this, let me know in the description. Comment, rate, and subscribe, I guess, if you want to. Have a nice evening, everyone. And that was basically my little rant for the, uh, the week. Good night.